Hey everybody, how are you doing? I am your new sports announcer, the Big T, on your new sports channel. Hope all of you will enjoy the sports channel here with me. But to kick it off, we got Thursday night football happening tonight. Yeah, Thursday night football to start week number three of the NFL season. We got the Patriots taking on the Jets. That's going to be a good one. Now, the uh, Patriots, they lost to the Seahawks in overtime. And the Jets, now they beat Tennessee. Uh, this is going to be a good game between these two rivals here. But on paper, I'm going to go with New England winning the game on a field goal. That's what I'm predicting. Now, uh, for these other games, for Sunday, we get the Giants taking on Cleveland. I picked uh, Cleveland to win that game. Giants, they're just not playing so good. And I feel bad for you Giant fans out there. I really do. I feel real bad. <laughs> so... And the Browns all the way. Next, we got the Packs taking on Indianapolis. I mean, uh, Tennessee. I'm going to go with the Packs to win. Next, we got Chicago taking on Indianapolis. I'm picking the Bears. Next, we got Houston taking on Minnesota. Now, that's going to be a good game here. Now, People are picking Houston, but <clears throat> I am picking Minnesota. Next, we got Philadelphia taking on New Orleans. Now, New Orleans put a beating on the, on the Cowboys um, back last Sunday, 44 to 19. But I'm picking the Saints to win. All right, people. Now we got the Chargers traveling to go play Pittsburgh. The Chargers now they uh, beat the Carolina Panthers twenty six to three on Sunday, and the Steelers now they beat Denver thirteen to six. So this could be a good game between the Chargers and the Steelers. But in this one, I picked the Chargers. Next we got Denver traveling to go play Tampa Bay. Like I said, Denver took a big loss to Pittsburgh. Tampa Bay, they beat my Detroit Lions. <laughs> but I'm picking Tampa Bay to win this one. Next we got the Pan Panthers taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Now the Raiders, they beat Baltimore 26 to 23 and Carolina well you know they lost to the Chargers so I'm picking the Raiders to win that one next we got Miami traveling to go play the Seahawks now Miami's going to be without Tua their quarterback because he got injured last week in their game against Buffalo and Seattle well you know they won in overtime over the Patriots so I'm picking them the Seahawks to win that one next we got the Ravens taking on the Cowboys now the Ravens are 0-2 to start this 24th season and Dallas, well, you know, they're one and one. And I'm sure 
the Ravens don't want to fall 0-3, so I'm picking the Ravens to get a victory over the Cowboys. Next, we got the 49ers traveling to go play the Rams. Now, the 49ers, they lost to Minnesota last week. And the Rams, now they lost to Arizona. And the Rams are really struggling, big time. Really, really struggling. So I'm going to go with the 49ers in that one. Next, we got my Detroit Lions taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Again, my Lions lost to Tampa Bay on Sunday. Bad coaching and everything. We had very bad coaching and everything. So, and Arizona, well, they beat the Rams. And uh, interception by Jared Goff as well. We'll be talking about the Lions, so keep it right here. But I'm picking my Lions. Next, we got the Chiefs taking on the Falcons. Now, the Chiefs won a close one over the Bengals, 26-25. And Atlanta, while well, they won Monday night over Philadelphia. All right, everybody. Now, on to Monday night games. We got two games slated for Monday night. We got Jacksonville taking on Buffalo. I'm picking the Bills to win that matchup over Jacksonville. And the other game is uh, Washington taking on Cincinnati. Now Washington beat the Giants. In their game. So I'm picking uh, Washington to beat Cincinnati in uh, football in week three. So those are my picks. Again, don't forget if you got Prime Video, the game between. New England and the Jets will be on Prime Video tonight. So, if you got Prime Video, check it out. And let's talk about my uh, Lions for a bit. Uh, so far, I watched their games. The Sunday night game and last Sunday. And I'll be back, people. Okay, people, I'm back. And now, I'm good to talk about the Lions. My, when I witnessed the Lions in their first two games. Uh, one is their defense. Still sluggish. Not that good yet. I know they didn't put too much pressure on Matthew Stafford. But they did a decent job. I'm proud of it. But a thing I'm concerned about is their offense. Their first game, they did not give it to Ahmad St. Brown whatsoever. You go up and pay somebody good money, you get him involved. Honest to God, Pete, you got to get the guy involved. I know they used uh, Jamison Williams a lot. They didn't use their tight end much. 
I know they used uh, Gibbs and Montgomery a lot, but the first game they didn't use Ahmad St. Brown. I don't know why. I'm kind of confused on that. But Now, the second game, they used him a lot more. Also, they started using this one dude named Patrick. They got him from somewhere. I can't remember where. I think Denver. But he was injured. He was an injured player, so he didn't play much. And they gave him the ball a lot on Sunday. And they started feeding Ahmad St. Brown the ball a lot. And ate Jamison Williams. And their tight ends. And you know, they ran the ball with Gibbs and Montgomery. And Hutch, he had five sacks. Five sacks in the game. But yeah, like I was saying, people, Hutch can't do it by himself. That Aaron Glenn's got to find somebody that's going to step in and help him on the other side. That's one bad thing the Lions didn't do. Go out and get another pass rusher to, for the other side to help that child. But their defense did look pretty good. But their offense just having trouble getting into the end zone. Those are my concerns about the Lions. You got to get that offense clicking. You got to get somebody deep and open. I know they didn't use the regular players during the preseason. You know, they only play three games in the preseason. It's like I say, why sit out your regulars in the preseason? Get them involved. That's the only way you're going to become a winning team, is get your team players in there and involved. Don't any of you agree? I'm going to take some phone calls. Uh, give me a call at 1-800-SPORTS-TALK. 1-800-SPORTS-TALK. Let's talk about the Lions, what your take is. I got the phone ringing right now. <laughs> so let's take the phone call. Hello, this is um, Sports Talk. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what is your concern about the Lions? Okay. Yeah, I, I understand how that, you know, they're, they're really hurting about that. Josh at Reynolds I'm letting him go you know he was he was a great player and everything but you know you know how free agency is yeah and you know I don't trust Jameson Williams much as well you know he's they didn't use him much last year, and now that, now they got to start using him more. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, so who are you picking on Sunday? Well, you're picking Arizona. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see. All right, thanks for the call. Bye-bye.
All right. Thank you, caller, for that comment about the Alliance. Uh, but hopefully the Lions will do good on Sunday against the Cardinals. Now, let's talk. Some baseball. Yeah, baseball. About the Detroit Tigers. They're in a thick of things. As any of you know, but if you didn't know, my uh, Detroit Tigers are in a playoff hunt. They're just a half a game behind the Minnesota Viking, Minnesota Twins, I mean. <laughs> and they swept the Rangers all three games in um, Kansas City. Uh, they won Monday night, 7-6. They won Tuesday night, 3-1 to one in 10 innings. And then they won Wednesday night, 4-2. to two. So, hey, Tigers are on the roll. But we just got to get these guys to start losing so they can get up there. Now, our next game, we played the Orioles in Baltimore. So, that's going to be a tough pass for the Tigers. They got to take two of the three game series and they will look good still so let's keep our fingers crossed that they do that but what's your take about the Tigers uh, do you think they're going to make the playoffs uh, give me a call at 1-800-SPORTS-TALK again 1-800-SPORTS-TALK let's talk Tigers I got the phone ringing right now. Let's uh, let's find out what this person wants. Hey, this is a sports talk. Can I help you? Yeah. Yeah. What you take about the Tigers? Yeah, I've been impressed by him. Me too. I've really been impressed. So, uh, what is your take? Do you think they're going to uh, make it in the playoffs or no? Well, you think they will? Okay. Well, I hope they do. <laughs> I really do. I hope they do. It'd be great for Michigan to get them in to something. Hopefully we'll rub, rub off and the Lions will do it again too. Okay, uh, thanks for the call. All right, people. It's time for a commercial break here. Let's take a few time off for our sponsors and everything and I'll be back and we'll talk about Michigan State so keep it right here I people It's college football time. Yeah, college football. I got to talk about the Michigan State Spartans, who are three and oh so far in this twenty-four season. Yeah, three and oh. That they won against Florida Atlantic 16 to 10. Then they beat Maryland 27 to 24. And then they put a whipping on Perry View 
and M, forty to nothing. Now they're going to be playing Saturday night in Boston College. Yeah, I like how uh, Jonathan Smith, the new head coach for Michigan State's doing with that team. I mean, he's doing wonderful. I'm really surprised how he got that, has that team going. Big time. Big, big time. He's got that team rocking. <laughs> Uh, you Sparty fans should be happy about that. That They got the right coach to help them out. Now, Michigan State will be traveling to Boston College this Saturday for an 8 o'clock game. And then for September 28th they take on the Ohio State Buckeyes at 7 p.m. in up there at East Lansing now that's going to be the one to watch to see how really good they are and then after that it's Oregon they travel to Oregon for a 9 o'clock game October 4th so the big one's going to be the Ohio State one to see how good they are and um, I like your opinion people give me a call at 1-800-SPORTS-TALK 1-800-SPORTS-TALK If you're a Michigan State fan We could talk some Michigan State football <laughs> So give me a call Now we got a call coming in people Let's take this phone call Hey, this is Sports Talk. Can I help you? Hey, I want to talk about the Sparties, huh? Okay. Yeah, what's your take about them? Have you been impressed by them? Yeah, well, see, I've, I've been really impressed how good they are under Jonathan Smith. I really have. It's like, I didn't see this this turnaround, but I'm really surprised how good that it's been for the Spartans. Yeah. I, I understand what you're concerned about it. Yeah, well, yeah, and that Ohio State one's going to be a good one. Definitely will be good. All right, thanks for your phone call. Bye-bye. Well, I had some great phone calls. With some callers. And now let's uh, talk about Michigan. <laughs> the Wolverines. All right, people, now let's jump to the Wolverines. Yeah, the Wolverines are 2-1 in this season so far. At yeah, 2-1. You know, after being a winning T 
championship team. They, I know they lost a lot of players to the draft and everything, and that kind of hurted them big time and everything else. And, and under their new head coach as well, and, you know, without Jim Harbaugh, their team was going to struggle, and sure enough, they're struggling. And they just... And under uh, Sharon Moore, um, they're uh, Michigan's new head coach. He, he isn't the greatest head coach, I think. They should have went after Jonathan Smith, Oregon State's coach, but they didn't. So they kind of goofed there. And yeah, I just don't think that Sharon Moore is a great coach as I speak. They're going to have a tough, tough task this Saturday against UCS. They travel to UCS, the USC, the play them and that's not going to be one good tech game for them you know their defense is iffy their offense is iffy and Warren he's just not a great quarterback but I want to hear your take people give me a call at 1-800-SPORTS-TALK and we could talk Michigan football But we're going to take a commercial break first, and I'll be right back. What's your uh, concern about uh, Wolverine this year? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's the lack of their offense. This, they just cannot get it going. And too many men of mistakes, too. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree, big time. But hey, two and one's not too bad. Now they'll be two and two this weekend coming up. No, no championship this season. No. Nope. Yeah, I know Saturday's going to be a tough task for them, big time. I pity them. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. All right, thanks for calling. Bye-bye. All right, we'll see if we'll get any more calls, people. Again, at 1-800-SPORTS-TALK. Uh, Again, 1-800-SPORTS-TALK. Let's talk uh, Michigan, Michigan State, Detroit Lions, Detroit Tigers. You name it, we'll do it. Now, don't forget, uh, this radio program just started, so be patient, people. But 
Um, we're going to pick a night to talk about pro wrestling. Yeah, pro wrestling. Uh, a lot of you are probably pro wrestling fans. And, and this radio station is going to be dedicated to that. So we're going to pick a night. We'll keep you posted about it. So, hopefully people will be happy about that. And we'll be talking about the Red Wings and the Pistons and all this and that. But right now, right now, now you know, well, Pistons, uh, right, Red Wings and Pistons should start be starting their training camps pretty soon. So, their season's going to be getting rolling pretty soon. And doesn't look too good for the Pistons. Red Wings, it might look good for them, but not the Pistons. You know, they're still a growing team and everything else. And uh, just, I don't know. I really don't. And pretty soon we'll be talking about college basketball as well. That, that's going to be starting pretty soon as well, man. So we're going to have a lot of sports happening soon so keep it right here on your local leader for sports uh, nobody else wants to call so let's see if we've got anything happening here um I'm going to take a commercial break. Check if any breaking news. And I will be back. Alright people. I'm back. I checked uh, any Lions updates and... Uh, see that Ahmad St. Brown is day by day, all right? It's not a big injury. He's not going to be on the injured reserve, so that's a good thing. It's, he just needs rest. And don't know if he's going to be active for the game against the Cardinals on Sunday, so... Uh, we'll s just wait and see if that happens uh, for him. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just sad that he got hurt big time. And uh, let's just hope and pray that. He'll get back in shape for the Lions. Well, everybody, hope all of you enjoyed this video here, and if you did, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new and you came here, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to me. Also, hit that notification bell. But until then, y'all take it easy. Have a good one.